your gift messages from Spirit. They have special messages that want to come through for Spirit as a gift for you this beautiful holiday season. Now, my my readings are timeless, so this will come to you whenever you need it. But it is uh, almost Christmas Eve, and when I put out this reading, it will be on Christmas Eve. And these are your gifts for Yule, Christmas Eve, Kwanzaa, uh, whatever you celebrate around this season, winter solstice. Uh, this is your beautiful gifts from Spirit for you. So I have Oh, hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Luna. I am your Oracle of Starlight. I channel messages from Archangel, Star Beings, and Highest Light Spirit Guides for your greatest good. I was sent by the Council of Light, and I'm here to get you to your highest timeline, that golden timeline. So if you're interested in anything like that, go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll know when I come out with a new reading. Not only does this help me to pick up on your energy so I can channel for you more directly, but it helps me to share my light and love of the world for which I am ever so grateful. Grateful. I will have links below in the description if anyone would like a personal reading, a link to my manifest frequency channel with the background music where I put out subliminals and frequency music to help you manifest your ultimate reality, or a link to any of the cards. I'll have those below in the description. So I have the three cards for you to choose from today. I have this card for the first card we have is unconditional love. The second card we have is I am presence. And the third card we have is crystal blessing. Now the numbers I have for these cards with unconditional love on card number one is the number 33. With I am presence on card number 15 is, is card number 15 on number two. And for card number three, crystal blessing is card number eight. So you can also choose by the numbers. And I'm gonna go ahead and get you a few charms really quick. For charms for group number one. Spirit, what have you got? We've got this love. We have this love, it is unconditional love. There's a love with a arrow going through. And we have double hearts, double hearts. And we have a dolphin, a dolphin. So let me go ahead and get some charms for group two. See what they've got for group two. It's three charms again. We have the, oh, I threw it on the table. We have the hand sign. <laughs> we have the coin with a little fist doing this. And we have a butterfly. And let me go ahead and get you some charms for group number three. This is a few more this time. We have a cup, a hot cocoa mug, we have the tree of life. We have a tree. We have a beautiful key. It's a heart key. I feel like I have a fuzzy on my fingers. There we go. I have a little, okay, there we go. We've got a little unicorn, a unicorn frolicking. We have a fish, a little fish, and we have the swans in the shape of a heart. So there's a beautiful message in group three. I'll go ahead and run this third eye chakra bowl for you to help you choose. go ahead and bless this reading. Let's go ahead and we're going to run some mullion. I have my spiritual cleanse frequency playing in the background and I'm going to burn a little mullion here to cleanse this reading. And we're going to cleanse the space and we're going to cleanse your space. If you just close your eyes and let this energy wave over you, this mullion is strong spiritual protection. And now we're going to bless you and bless this reading with some sage. I've got a little, little bit of petals and stuff here from my solstice ritual that are still on my table. Like I dropped some ash too. There we go. Let's 
seemed appropriate to leave the petals for the blessings. And we're going to bless you. And we're going to bless this season. We're going to bless this reading. There we go. All right. I'll have those links below in the description, guys. And now we'll see you guys in your group. Hello and welcome to group number one. If you chose card number one, you chose this beautiful unconditional love card with this Mother Mary and this diamond, diamond light codes, diamond frequencies and the number 33. We have a heart, we have two hearts conjoined and we have a dolphin. Let me go ahead and tap into to your messages, your gifts from spirit, group number one. Group number one, I'm getting some incredible visions. So I do believe you've got some new codes and visions coming in. New vision, you're going to be able to see with new eyes. Perhaps you've had a crown chakra or third eye chakra upgrade recently, but I definitely feel so much vision. So right away, they're showing me these golden sparkles of light coming down and surrounding you. And then they're showing it like a Christmas tree, like the sparkles of light make a Christmas tree. And then I'm seeing a Christmas tree and the light all around and the star. And then they have the snow around me. So it's like this beautiful winter time. So this is a beautiful gift that's coming. It's coming from the Father. It's coming from God. It's coming from the All Father. It's coming from the tree, the tree of life. So I see this tree. I see these golden sparkles of all these frequencies around you that's bringing you these gifts. It's bringing you these gifts of unconditional love and these diamond-like frequency codes. So is this, um, I feel these Magdalene keys have been awakened here. This is a master number of 33. You are a master, like a master engineer or a master ascended master who has come here to do a lot of good work. So I feel this master number here. Now 33 could have another meaning for you as well. This could be your age. This could have to do also with, um, with a date. They're showing you Solaris in the sun. So you were connected to soul. You were connected to God. This is, this is God as I was seeing um, this connection to God. They were showing me uh, the father. To the father, I'm hearing Ra as well. So we've got these Ra sun codes that have come through recently. Now these were these frequencies that have come from Solaris. They've come from the sun. These, uh, these light waves, these plasma waves, these these flares, these solar flares have been activating. Now I've got my phone over there, but I did show you guys in the last video, the Schumann resonance. So if you'll go ahead and go check out the Schumann resonance, that, that wave that was coming through that I was talking about in my last reading for the initiates, that wave that was coming through right at the peak of that, it continued throughout the day. And it was this huge wave of high amplitude power and the power is gone up. The amplitude at uh, the high, the power is higher right now. I think it was like at a 24 or something. So one of the highest I've seen it, um, even through these processes, I guess spike up at different times and we're going down after that huge influx of energy. But there was a lot of things that were happening in the collective. It was just like a major activation and awakening that's going on. And this comes from these sun, uh, these solar flares. As Solaris, the sun is sending us these codes. They're showing me with the hand, sending us these codes and they're showing me the golden, the golden children being awoken. I see this golden light. This That was the golden sparkles that I see floating around. So there's codes that were sent in from the sun. So this is a beautiful gift from spirit. It's taking you out of this hanged man energy. Now you may be feeling in the hanged man energy through this time period. A lot of you may be going through a dark night of the soul. You may be feeling uh, tied up upside down or like you're gone inside, like you're looking deep within at yourself and all these things. And this is the hanged man energy it's bringing you out of. These, this sparkly codes, it's giving you the gift of brilliance. It's going to flip you around. So as above, so below. So as if, if you are below, then you're going to flip up above is what they're showing me, this hermit energy that you've been doing some hermiting. Now, this could be hermit energy that you've been doing now. And this also could be a hermit energy in the future that is going to be coming in as a gift, like a beautiful, you are so good by yourself. Uh, being comfortable with yourself is what they're saying. You're, you are healing your energies and, and energizing and ascending. Um, you're healing your body. All of these things that you're doing alone, this time that you're spending alone is very, very good in this time, this healing. As you see the hanged man and the hermit and these solar codes and these diamond frequencies coming in. 
as you're going within and understanding, hanging from the world tree. Maybe you've made a lot of sacrifices because there's always these sacrifices, these great sacrifices to make for this wisdom, these wisdom codes this, that's coming in, this owl energy, those wisdom codes that are coming in. These golden codes, they're coming in. The golden rose, the Rosa Orim. These golden children are being activated. These golden codes, these magical roses are being activated on the realm at this time. This is beautiful wisdom and beautiful Magdalene codes coming in for you. The 144 Magdalene keys. Now they're wanting me to get some tarot cards. So let's see what they've got for us. Gifts from Spirit. These Magdalene keys. I do feel like this is a, a group of the 144. There's fire coming in, the Queen of Wands. Fire and passion. Uh, fiery feminine energy. And they're showing me the lions. The lions as leading the way. I'm feeling Leo energy. I'm feeling Virgo energy. I'm feeling Aries, Sagittarius. A nurturing, uh, blossoming of the Divine Feminine. There's more fire coming through. Passion. For some of you, this is passion. The High Priestess. Because you are the High Priestess. Seven of Swords. And there were things hidden. There was some sort of... Um, see, you're, you're using your skills and to to work your way out of this. It's not something you could push through. It's not something you can just willfully do. It's not something you can uh, bulldoze your way through with this fire. It's this intellect. It's this intellect that's getting you there. Showing you the things that were hidden and showing you the way to move forward with this high priestess energy. You've got the secrets of the moon and it's all about this, it's all about this balance between the pillar of mercy and the pillar of severity. It's all about this balance and you're learning that now and you're alchemizing in these energies as this high priestess, as the seer behind the curtain. It's, it's time for an end of these nine of swords energies. You may have been feeling depressed or down, emotional attacked. There could be energies that have been attacking you. Please play some of my frequencies. If you are feeling an attack, I have a spiritual frequency, a spiritual protection frequency that is playing right now. Um, I'll have the link in that in the description. It's time for an end of these Nine of Swords energies. You cannot be trapped in this matrix anymore. You cannot be trapped in these lies. This fire and these sun codes and these diamond frequencies are awakening the golden children. Have patience with yourself and have patience with this process. Use your best judgment in this temperance of where you pour your energy, of whose cup you fill, and who, whose cup you allow to fill you, and what waters you step in, they're showing me. And I'm seeing a balance between the divine masculine and the feminine. I'm seeing this balance on this card, the temperance card, and I'm seeing a balance in this high priestess card. So this balance is very important right now. This gift, this gift the Spirit is giving you. I hope my table hasn't moved too much, Miss Maya. Miss Maya is deciding to move it for me. Hey, Miss Maya, can you move my darling? Come this way. This way. Come on. Good girl. Okay. No one just moved it. It's on rollers, you guys. <laughs> Did I move it back? <laughs> I think that's about right. I hope it's kind of even. There we go. <laughs> So there, there are, there are spirit guides. There are, there are frequencies. There are energies coming in that are moving things around. They're restructuring, and you might need to adjust. Uh, that's the message I was just getting from Maya and me adjusting my table. That's the message spirit was giving to me. You, there is a time for readjustment. As you're readjusting, this is where you're giving yourself patience in this time through this readjustment period. Oh. <laughs> I had all of these cards fly out. I'm going to give you this one off the top and then I'm going to reshuffle. This is a beautiful time of manifestation. 
This is a beautiful time of manifestation. And they're showing me you're going to be able to manifest more in this coming year. With all of this work that you have been doing, I think I just flipped these around in the middle of my deck. You guys, hold on just one second. Definitely some interference energies again. <laughs> there we go. It is a sacred space. Creating this sacred space is very important right now. Perhaps you have a new sacred space. Perhaps you've moved. This is a family home. There's going to be a sacred space for you if you haven't moved recently. This could be a move in the future, but a lot of you I feel have just moved or are in the process of moving or have recently moved. This is a moving to a more sacred space, a place that is better fit for your frequency, a better fit for these manifestations, a better fit for where you can meditate. And there is some meditation and contemplation that it's being called for right now. They're telling me that you're accessing this book of shadows, your lineage and your roots. That you're learning to get out of those matrix energies. They're showing me this accessing the book of shadows and through this last dark night of the soul. You want me to get some earth alchemy oracle cards. So you have a gift of your retrieving your lineage, uh, which is giving you magic. It's giving you magic to manifest. This fire, it's taking you out of those matrix energies, taking you out of these nine of swords energies. Taking you out of these nine of swords energies. Taking you to this sacred space. This sacred space where you can meditate, where you can manifest, where you can manifest abundance. These are the golden codes coming through for you. Golden topaz and yellow rose abundance. It's raising your vibration because you have light missions and these are raw activations that are coming through for your missions now. Raw activations, exactly what I was saying. Raw activations that are coming through for your missions right now. They're showing me the bottom of the deck. These are cycles of change with the grandmother moonstone. This is illuminating boundaries and giving you new beginnings. These are new beginnings. These are new timelines. New beginnings, new timelines. They're showing me the bottom of the deck again, and I'll go ahead and give it to you. This is the Rose Quartz Olive Tree, Alchemy of Love, Peace Offering, Compassion, and Venus Energy. This is Venus Energy that is coming in. It's coming in, bringing this unconditional love. It's bringing unconditional love for your friends, your family, for your soul family, star family, for these soulmates and these divine partnerships. It's activating this unconditional love through this beautiful alchemy of all these light frequencies that are coming in. They're showing me, again, the bottom of the deck, the golden Libyan tectite and expansion. These are galactivations, your initiation, these ancient Egyptian initiations. Ancient Egyptian activations. That's taking you forward on this beautiful path. And I saw... 12.49 and then 12.50 on the clock. 12.49 and 12.50. Turquoise and forget-me-not, balance. What did they say? This is all about balance. A cracking open and deep healing. This is balancing karma. This is what you were doing right now. I think I can put this one over here. Let's see. Oh, there's plenty of room there. There we go. This is what you're doing right now. And this is a beautiful message. This is a beautiful gift from spirit because you're going to be able to manifest in order to see it's bringing you this love. It's bringing you this beautiful love, these cycles of change that you're going through. And you're going to be able to manifest great things through all these changes. Be kind to yourself in this time. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Take salt water baths as you can. Add a little sea salt to your water or drink spring water. Do as much grounding as you can. You know, I just watched Stefan Burns' new uh, grounding video that he just came out with, and it was very explaining, uh, very explanatory. <laughs> it was very well explained on how you can ground in the winter. And I thought it was really cool. Did you know that you can just sit on your floor in your house? The closer you are to the ground, the better. And I, I love having my mattress on the floor. Um, I guess I'm not one of those that wants to quite sleep on the hard surface quite yet, but I do love having my mattress low to the ground. I've always liked that. So apparently that's better for you. And so is sitting on the carpet, sitting on the, on the floor. Um, 
or leaning up against a brick wall or a, a stone wall. You guys should go check out that video. I might try to put a link for it down in the description so you can check it out. But yeah, definitely. Um, and I was, and I just tried it sitting down on my floor and it's funny when I look outside, I can see that my floor is actually a little below the ground outside and I feel very grounded when I sit down on the floor in my new room. And that's pretty exciting. So I wanted to share that with you guys um, that maybe just even just sitting down on the floor in your house might be more grounded for you through these times. I liked it so much. I think I'm going to make like a whole little Turkish corner in my right over in here, like a little Arabian uh, with the carpets and maybe some pillows because I just want to sit on those pretty Turkish carpets. <laughs> I was thinking about and maybe some hanging lamps or something. That sounds really fun in my little sitting area. There's some hostilities. There are some hostilities that you've been facing. The two and the six for the eight, they're showing me it's the karmic cycle. They're showing me the eight that's leading to abundance as you're battling through these energies. Battling through these energies, these hostilities. There, I saw forces, they were kind of trying to come against you. Now, you may need to do some sort of evil eye protection. We're going to go ahead and protect ourselves from the evil eye right now. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for holding this space. Thank you, Archangel Michael. And just know, just know that you can just let everyone know that anything that comes against you will be sent back upon them sevenfold. And they really don't want to fuck with you. They really don't. You are not in charge of what your an and you are not in um, responsible for what your ancestors and your spirit guides and your angels are gonna do if they try to come at you. And that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is now. So you might be feeling some uh, some of this around you. You might be feeling some of these energies. You may need to be protecting your energy this time. Uh, use some frequencies to so use a field around you. You can use some sea salt um, to if you energize the sea salt and bless it and sprinkle it in the corners of your home as a blessing. You can uh, protect your home this way as well. Uh, you can anoint the doors and windows with some oil, with some sacred oil that you've blessed as well. This is also good protection. You can burn some Palo Santo. Um, you can uh, burn this mullion. There's incense. Incense is another good way. And I actually learned this is a good way to ground. So this is really cool. Burning something is another good way to ground. And with this, I'm seeing Six Chakra Archangel Metatron. Now I have some messages from Archangel Metatron that want to come through. I actually have the thumbnail made and everything. I was planning to do that reading today, but this spirit message is needed to come through as a gift first. So I'm going to try to do these next, but Archangel Metatron is here for you. As you're retrieving this information, they're showing me the he's showing me the third eye and the book of shadows. So it's like as above, so below. Archangel Metatron's got you connected to the tree of life, connecting to Akashic records. So as you're connecting to this book of shadows, this lineage and the roots of the tree, and you're pulling up that information, this is Archangel Metatron is here to help you connect with your Akashic records and pull that information down from the cosmos, from the heavens. And this is going to help to cease these um, hostilities. Again, you might be having some energies. Let me get a couple of more tarot cards. These hostilities, we want to clarify are here. Seven of coins. Seven of coins. And the knight of cups. Okay, so I feel like they've made some sacrifices with your money. I feel like they have... Um, they have uh, wasted your money. They maybe uh, it's a fiery thing. They might be jealous. They're jealous of you, jealous of you, and they've been trying to. And again, again, this is just a uh, collective thing. Steal your energy. Take your fire. Um, this is you petitioning the heavens, and the answers coming. The answers to these hostilities, there is a Knight of Cups coming through. There is a, a angel, I feel. There is someone coming through uh, that's love and protection. It's going to be protecting you from these energies. This could be a spirit guide. This could be someone in the, in the physical or the non-physical. But I feel these angels are here to protect you. And this time they're showing me the bottom of the deck from the devil. From the devil. These devil energies, these hostile energies that were trying to keep you tied up. They're trying to keep you... Bro broken. I'm hearing broken because I'm seeing the cracked open. You are not broken. You are never broken. When you shatter, when you crack open where this is ego shattering, this is good. You're going to rebuild. You don't need that old programming. It's good for you. Okay, so don't you worry about that. You are not broken. You are. <laughs> you are getting this fiery energy to move forward. This knight of wands. You're going to go somewhere. There's some action, some dragons coming in, I'm hearing. I'm gonna get you a couple of dragon cards here. Let's see where they are. These right here. 
So you have some beautiful gifts, some beautiful gifts from spirit that are coming in. Beautiful gifts. Beautiful gifts. <laughs> That's amazing. Beautiful gifts. Beautiful dragon gifts. Beautiful dragon gifts of peace and plenty, of connecting to the crown. And I didn't silence my phone, so it is ringing. I'll just ignore that for a minute. <laughs> but that's just a confirmation. There are beautiful gifts coming in. They're coming in fast. They might be calling you right now. There's some sort of communication that is coming in. These are these Merlin energies. This is magic. This is magic and manifestation. Magic and manifestation from these beautiful light codes. From these beautiful light codes and these diamond frequencies, these gifts that are coming in these beautiful magical gifts and i'm just so happy to share this beautiful message with you group number one what an incredible reading i i just let me know how it resonates because i love hearing from you guys in the comments i'm sending you guys so much light and love and i'll talk to you soon hello and welcome to group number two if you chose card number two you chose this beautiful i am presence card and it says cosmos celestite number 15 and we have the charms for the the coin the butterfly and the hansa sign let me go ahead and tap into your messages group number two for your gifts from spirit Oh, this is incredible. Group number two, right away, I am seeing this beautiful galactic activation. So they showed me this galaxy, this cosmos, it looks like this, and I see it in front of me, and then I feel like I'm sitting, I'm sitting in, um, you know, sitting in this yoga position, and I'm up, floating up in the air, above the earth, and I feel these galactic activations, and I'm seeing this, they're showing me this now, they're showing me this triangle of light around you, of this galactic activation that's happening, that's expanding you, you're divinely protected in this time, it's connecting you to your I am presence, it's connecting to your God, goddess energy, it's connecting you to God, it's connecting you to Ra, it's connecting you to Christic wisdom, this is taking you to abundance, you are divinely protected, you have been activated and it's going to take you to abundance. You're going to get paid. You're showing up to your job and you're going to get paid because you're one of these divine light workers. But they're showing me the celestite. You're protected by the angels and you're connected to the cosmos. And this is a starseed activation. They're wanting you to get some more charms for you. It's connecting you to the tree of life. It's giving you strength, this elephant energy. Because you are a royal star seed with this fleur de lis. You are a royal star seed and you need to take action. It's time to take action. And this new year is a time for action. And there also might be another butterfly waiting for you now. This could be community. This could be partnership. Let's go ahead and get a few more cards and get a read on this. Oh, this is the ones we want here. You know, I've noticed half the time they show me the picture. I feel like I'm in the imagery of the card, which is really cool. It's just really cool. It just goes to show you that meditating on the imagery of cards can be very helpful towards your practice. There's been a walking away, a walking away from negative energies. With the Knight of Swords, there is new information that's come in, new, uh, new information that's come in that's helped you with your, you've been working so hard. You've been working so hard on this. These cards all fell out on the floor and Spirit's telling me to take them all. So I'm going to Page of Wands. There is some new fire coming in. Maybe there's a, yes, it's a new fire. Young fire. A fire to, is there, there could be a fiery young person coming in for some of you. Uh, let's see. And the Knight and the King of Wands. Okay, so for some of you, I feel there is an age difference here of two starseed individuals. So now there's going to be a new partnership. This could be a friendship. This could be, um, this could be a divine partnership, but I'm not seeing indications of love. I'm just seeing um, 
a fiery moving forward. Someone's younger, someone's a little bit older, but this is beautiful fiery energy. Ooh, dragon energy. Beautiful dragon energy. Now I'll take this how it resonates. This won't be the case for all, but I do feel, um, and for some of you, I'm actually seeing a parent and child. So it's actually a child that might be rising up with you um, going forward on this path that was activated, that's been activated. So take this how it resonates. This is going to be the different case for many, but there's new information coming in that's helped you with this walking away from these energies that's actually going to be taking you to the world. You're working really hard at this right now. This is very hard work and determination that's going to be taking you to your abundance. You're working hard at it. You're studying and could be studying. This could be new studies in finances. For some of you, this is a new business project. For some of you, this is just something you're creating or something you're working hard with with your hands. Look at, she's like, her hands are bleeding and she's got, but she knows that she keeps working. This is going to pay off. She's got to do this. She's doing this for her brothers. She's doing this for her star brothers that were cursed. <laughs> so take that how it resonates. Um, this is the divine feminine working. This could be the divine masculine. Uh, whoever you are, we all have a combination of the divine feminine and the divine masculine within us. If you are the divine masculine, this is the divine feminine within you that's being activated and working hard to get to this level. If you were the divine feminine you've been working really hard at this to free your brothers so take that how it resonates i'm feeling some of these woodland wardens cards now spirit what messages do you have here we go Aha, there's death processes and ending. Moth and eucalyptus, there's been an ending to something of this walking away. You are to have strength with the ash and elk, have strength in this walking away because you are divinely protected and you're going to something incredible. There is a mission. You are a royal starseed and there's a mission. You are taking action and you're divinely protected as you're rising up. This is a starting over. With the snake and fern, you are starting over. This is a new beginning. This is a new beginning. They're showing me, they're showing me the snake and magnolia for you are divinely protected. This is a new beginning. Stand in your strength because you are divinely protected right now. What do they say? They can't fuck with you anymore. <laughs> they don't have the right. And anything that comes against you will be sent back against them sevenfold. You just put up those barriers and you tell them they don't have the right. And you, you don't have, you are not responsible for the actions that your ancestors or these angel, angelic beings uh, or these star beings around you that are protecting you will take to protect you from this negative energy that might still be coming at you. You may have messages in group number one. So there's a beautiful gift, it's some fiery purpose of moving forward, like a new, I'm feeling a new uh, partnership, a new collaboration, which is really cool because I have a new collaboration. Aries, act, it's a fire, see, it's this fire that's moving you forward. This Aries energy, it's taking you towards your purpose, your north node. These solar flares, these solar flares have activated this. These solar flares have activated this, it's taking you to protection. This is going to be more protection and strength when you align with soul family, star family. They're showing me the bottom of the deck and this is perception in the moon. These mysteries of the moon, it has great perception and now you're balancing out these energies of sun and the moon. Of these galactivations, I've been feeling coming in, feeling, hearing, seeing these galactivations. Let me get you some gateway. Uh, Gateway of Light Activation Cards Balancing these energies of the Sun and the Moon Lemurian Seed Codes and January 7th and January 9th may have uh, some have some special be a special time for you as well Lemurian Seed Codes this is your embracing, embracing sensitivity and your uniqueness and your learning to live in grace live with grace to thrive in grace to thrive and grace these new codes that are coming in. They're activating these Lemurian seed codes, the seed codes that you came in with, that you came in to do this work. You came in to do this work, it's being activated right now with this fire, this fire, these galactivations, this 
sword of light, this divine protection. Like I said, this knight, knight of swords, this new information coming in, this divine protection, cords cut and breakthrough energy. You've cut cords. If you haven't already, I'll put my cord dissolval down below. You have cut cords and I feel Archangel Michael with his sword of light that is protecting you through this time and cutting away these negative energies, this moving away, these death processes and this starting over. Have strength, you were divinely protected. This I am presence, this sword of light. You've been working really hard for this. And this is a beautiful gift. This is a beautiful gift. Spirit wants you to know that you are getting a beautiful gift for you. Let me get you a couple of fairy cards. This is what I'm feeling here. Motivation. It's the fire of our motivation. It said, when spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say, get busy and do it. <laughs> so now this would be a call. Some of you guys might be doing, getting more motivated in the spring, but right now this is a motivation moving forward. I know we just gone into Capricorn season, um, and that's what I was just speaking out the Space Age Bay, and we are actually um, getting all this fiery energy, this energy to move forward. Now, Capricorn is an earth sign, but it has this energy of getting things done, of hard work and um, working on your money and uh, moving forward at a steady pace. And I feel like there's some more fire that's coming in. There's something that you've been thinking about doing and it's time to get busy and do it. They say it's time to do it. It's time to act. Do you see that? It's time to act. And that's what they're saying. All these codes are coming in for you to start this now. I saw 1001 on the clock. 1001, so 1001. This is a mirroring, a mirroring. Now I'm not wanting to get some. Here we go. Energy Oracle cards for you. What are their. Oh, they popped out before I could even finish talking. Here we go. We've got Archangel Uriel who is coming in to protect these divine partnerships. So we've got Archangel Muriel with a door to romance and a woman holding a heart. I was like, what other gifts? What other gifts do they have coming, spirit? Group number two, the other gifts you have is a door to romance. There is a door to romance opening. It's a 33, a master romance. It's the divine partnership. Divine partnership with the seventh chakra, Archangel Yuri. It's connected to the crown. It's connected to this I am presence, connected to source. So this partnership is going to be connected to source. This new partnership that they're talking about and there's a love as well so i believe this is more than one person they're speaking of there's a 44 and a 33 so again there could be an age difference but this is a woman holding a heart there's love there's a feminine love coming in this is it's beautiful it's uh, gentle it's kind it's uh, lovely There's a storm warning, storm warning and healer of the ages. So there may be one storm ahead, you guys. For some of you, I'm seeing the 10 and I saw the 1001 as, as well before. So if there's an ending, if there's anything else that's, uh, that you're still going through, there may more, be more information coming in. For some of you, there's a little bit of a storm warning ahead for what's going on with this romance. It all has to do with this romance. There's a healer of the ages card that's happening. So please take this how it resonates. Perhaps you're both divine healers. Perhaps you're both part of the 144. You both could be light workers. There's a balance that's happening. There's something that's happening here in the spiritual realm. This is a gift for you. This is a gift for you. So just be aware that any of these storms are causing the starting over and these death processes and the walking away. Um, some of this could be due to financial constraints is what they're telling me. And this is why you're moving to your abundance. I feel that some of these arguments, there could be some arguments or something, this actually could be uh, causing financial constraints. Um, maybe money blockages or something like that. So please take that how it resonates. I think this is a particular message for someone. This is an angel of balance coming in to balance out the situation for this love and bring healing. Archangel Uriel is this angel of balance. And we've got the numbers 48, 41, 33, 44, 44, 51, 10, and 13. Any of these numbers could have a meaning for you. This is your door to healing and personal happiness. Door to healing and personal happiness. This is what's going on. 
This is a gift, a gift for you. Even if you feel like there's some sort of arguments or something, these arguments are actually bringing balance. If it's just a little, uh, perhaps it's standing up for yourself where you didn't before. Perhaps it's a standing your boundaries, showing your boundaries um, and standing your ground. This is actually going to bring balance. They're showing me the second chakra Archangel Uriel for this creative flow and this sense of purpose, but I've been feeling Archangel Uriel wanting to come through. Actually, I felt that she wanted to come through today. So I do feel like she is here with some beautiful messages of healing for you. And I knew these messages from spirit would have lots of angel messages in them for you. This is a sense of connecting to nature, of connecting to nature, connecting to the animals, connecting to the birds. Um, it's a beautiful nurturing, nurturing scent that she's coming through to surround you with this energy in this time, this beautiful golden energy, this beautiful uh, peachy sacral chakra energy. Healing your sacral chakra. Healing your sacral chakra. And giving you this creative flow, the sense of knowing, this gut feeling of knowing. So there may be some things going on with your gut right now as well with this, um, with these, oh, these solar storms, solar storms, this, this geomagnetic storm, these activating solar flares, these galactivations that are coming through. They may be causing, uh, doing things to your sacral chakra. So you may need to pay attention to your digestion right now. You may need to add some fermented foods or some probiotics or be drinking herbal teas. I know some of you could be fasting. Let me get you an Earth Alchemy Oracle card now. That's what I'm feeling. I need to check the time real quick. 1527. Fairies orders to rest. Okay, so you have the fairies orders to rest through these solar storms that are activating um, while it's doing things to your sacral chakra. So it's doing things to your little gut area. It's doing things to your tummy. So it's time to rest and replenish. Release guilt. <gasps> you might be holding guilt in your gut. Release this guilt. Release the guilt from your gut. You don't need to feel guilt. Um, anything that you've done, uh, you forgive yourself. As you forgive others, this is a learning process, and this is as you as you rest, replenish, and release any guilt for any past options. This is this golden golden topaz yellow rose abundance codes that are coming through. This is going to activate your abundance. It's raising your vibration. Again, light missions and raw activations. You definitely have messages in group number one. If you if you feel like checking that out, they're there. Um, there it is at the bottom of the deck. This was also in group number one. The alchemy of love. It's healing this peace offering, compassion, Venus energy, this feeling. Venus energy is healing this relationship, healing this heart situation, healing you. Take that how it resonates. It's different for everyone. It's healing you. It's healing this partnership. It's healing this relationship. It's healing this love. It's healing you. Could be bringing you to this partnership. And you don't have to take a partnership. For some of you, this is soul family, star family. This is other, um, if you are uh, divine masculine, this is other brothers coming in. If you are divine feminine, this is other, other sisters. Uh, this is actually going to be very healing, very healing for your heart. It's going to be just what you need. Spirit's never going to not give, give you anything that you don't need. It's going to be just what you need. Just what you need. Okay, I'm feeling just a couple of fairy messages here to close this out. You got these fairies orders for rest and the fairies want you to rest and let's see what else they have to say. Cleanse, it's a time of cleansing. It's a time of cleansing out these energies. It's gonna bring you to healing and personal happiness. So again, I said you might be fasting, you might be drinking herbal teas. You might be grounding. You are loved. You are so loved. Look at this woman holding a heart. Look at all these angels here. You are so loved. And they're telling me you have the fairy sight. So you are surrounded by fairies and you were, you were loved by the fairies. And they're just wanting to send you a lot of positive energy in this time because they see you're going through some things. So they're just wanting to send you so much love. So much love. 
so much love and I'm sending you so much love. You guys, let me know how this message resonates with you because I love hearing from you guys in the comments, my beautiful soul family, star family. I'm sending you guys so much light and love for these beautiful gifts, these beautiful gifts that are coming through for spirit from you, your messages from spirit. I'll talk to you guys soon. Hello and welcome to group number three. If you chose card number three, you chose this beautiful Crystal Blessings card with Grandmother Crystal Diva and Cathedral Lightberry and number eight. And then we have this beautiful little cup of hot cocoa. We have a little fish. We have a swans, the swan pair making a heart. We have the unicorn frolicking, the tree of life and a heart key. So let me go ahead and tap into your messages from spirit, group number three. Group number three, right away, they're showing me a bell, like a bell is being sing. So this is like a notification or a, a sign. I'm, I'm seeing a bell. Like a bell is being rung, like some frequencies. The frequencies are doing something to change your mind. They're showing me some energies around you. And they're also showing me a darkness, like a void. Like it's a little hard to see. So I'm seeing the darkness like in the center. And I'm seeing these light codes, these frequencies coming in from the outside, uh, energizing you. And they're showing me more as these codes and frequencies are being injected into the darkness is what they're showing me. Now they're showing me symbols, uh, sacred geometry symbols. I'm seeing a circle, a triangle, and the wands again for like the, um, what are they called? The, the Deathly Hollows, this order of wizardry, this magical order. I think you came in with some magic codes. You already came in with some beautiful magic codes and you're activating these now with this Cathedral Light Fairy, these crystal blessings. You're connecting to your Akashic tree. You're connecting to the, they're showing me the tree of life as the DNA. You're connecting to your ancestral DNA and connecting to the tree of life through your DNA. And this is actually pulling in these skills and codes from other lifetimes. This is bringing in these crystal codes and this is a blessing of this divine feminine energy, this, I almost said divine masculine. So I feel like this is a blessing for the divine masculine energies from this beautiful divine feminine energy. It's actually helping to heal the divine masculine on the earth and the divine feminine, but the divine feminine has been rising for a moment. I feel this divine masculine healing from this beautiful Magdalene key energy. They're giving, it's giving you strength. It's giving you strength. It's going to be taking you to a cozy space. It's unlocking your heart. It's unlocking your heart chakra. Opening, it's heart opening. I will have a link for my heart opening frequency below in the description. Please check it out. This is giving you strength, these galactivations, this crystal blessings. You're connected to this crystal wisdoms. I feel like this is like a little Jesus fish with the loaves and fishes. You may have some past lives actually in that era connected to um, Christ lineage or his um, apostles something around that like you were around in that era and i'm also seeing some of you guys are signing in star seeds so we've got the swans and the hearts as these codes from cygnus as these divine pairs we've got the unicorn so you've got this beautiful and they're showing me the third eye here so you've got this beautiful third eye activation and you can see really well so they're showing me the cathedral light as in giving these codes around you um, so you're just soaking, you're just absorbing these codes. And that's this connection to the tree of life. It's going to be taking you to a cozy space. So have strength in this time. It's giving you strength to move forward. Strength to move forward. Out of karmic cycles and to abundance. With the eight is what they're showing me. To the lovers. Allow love to wash over your soul as you create a bond with shared passions and goals. So definitely it's going to be taking you to lovers, shared passions and goals. Strength, strength for these divine partnership. And I said that and here comes strength again. Brave the pounding waves and gather your courage to resurface triumphantly. To resurface triumphantly. Oh, we're wanting some 
unicorn cards this time. So let me grab those. Knight of Cups. See, there's some love coming in. There's someone that wants to offer you this cup of love. This lover's cup. This is strength coming through for you. This is strength. They're showing me the 8888. 888. You may be seeing 888 or 808. This is going to be solidifying your abundance. This is going to be making money. This is going to be moving forward. Nine of Wands. You've had to battle so much. You've had to battle so much. You're just on guard. You have all this, this guard up, this fiery guard, and you've had to battle so much, and maybe you're tired. Maybe you're tired, and that's what the strength card is coming in for. That's definitely what the strength card is coming in for. I just had a card flip over on me in the middle of the deck. Nine of Cups! The Nine of Cups! The strength card is taking you. It's taking you to all these choices and love, all of this love. Uh, this Nine of Cups, you're having your cup full of, of this completion of all these choices of... of and I said this abundance, right? And I feel with this, you're going to have the ability to do whatever you want. You can just relax in it. So you can choose any cup. And if you want to just go somewhere, you can. And you're going to be able to have that money. This is what the strength is coming in for. These lovers. This new... I'm, I'm hearing new beginning. Let me, let me see an ace here. Let me see what we got. Six of cups. Queen of Swords. I feel the Six of Cups and the Queen of Swords, I feel, goes together. The Six of Cups and the Queen of Swords, I feel, with you thinking about all your past and all these, reminiscing on the things from your childhood that really gave you joy and that you really love, it's given you this capability. It's given you this capability of cutting away the things that no longer belong in your timeline and knowing the things that are good for you the things that feed your soul, the things that feed your inner child. And this is a beautiful gift. This is a beautiful gift of finding your life's purpose through your inner child healing. I think that's just incredible. Hold on, I had some cards slip over again. Here we go. The hanged unicorn. Because <laughs> you definitely have been in this hanged man energy. So see... You have been, you kind of been uh, stuck in that hanged man energy. And this is so that you would gain enlightenment. This is so you would gain this enlightenment, this, this halo around your head. This divine insight, this divine guidance, this connection to source. This glow, this starseed glow, this starseed activation. The eight of pentacles, because you've been working really hard. You've been really working really hard at growing your abundance and it looks like you're going to continue to work hard at growing this abundance in the future, but your hard work is definitely going to pay off. Your hard work is going to pay off with this nine of cups. Someone's going to be offering you even more cups. This king of wands, king of wands, a very fiery, passionate love, a fiery, passionate love. Two of Pentacles, because you've been balancing, you've been having to balance it. Maybe it was rough seas, maybe it was turbulent seas. But I feel this gift of balance is coming in. You're going to be able to put your foot down. Ooh! And they're showing me the bottom of the deck, and I threw it, and when I did, another card came out. So here we go. They were showing you're going to put your foot down against the devil with this two of swords. You're putting those swords up, and you're saying, no more. No more. And that's what I was saying earlier, that anything they send against you will be sent back against them sevenfold. And you are not in charge of what your ancestors, your spirit guides, your angels will do to these devil energies if they try to attack you. They don't have the right. They don't have the right. Auras and observe. So they're telling me to observe auras. Now, I feel with this card also, it's these frequencies coming through that's changing your aura and helping you to observe more because they're showing me the third eye, this huge third eye activation, helping you to see this, this uh, looking at what fed your soul as a child and knowing what energies to stay away from, getting out of the hanged man and the battle energies because there's some love coming in. So you're going to be observing auras from now on. You're going to be paying attention. 
to the auras around people, to the energies that you want to keep away from you. And they're showing me the moving away, <laughs> moving away from any auras that do not spark your soul with light. Okay, not one of these cards. Let's go ahead and switch it up here. We'll get some energy oracle cards for you. Group number three. Spirit, what other gifts do you have for group number three? What sort of beautiful gifts. Strength, this lover's victory! Victory! Well, if that's not the most credible gift, there's strength, double strength coming through. There's this love coming through. There's a victory and a journey. Victory and a journey. This is the temple path. This is your temple path. Victory. You are being promised victory. A victory and you're going to go on a journey. And they're showing me the two. A journey to partnership. A journey to companionship. A journey to soul family, star family. So take this how it resonates. I definitely see this journey to other star seeds. And victory, victory in this temple path. You're being guaranteed victory. Oh, it's incredible. And I'm seeing the one, two, two, two. So you may have some messages in my one, two, two, two reading. One, two, two, two. <laughs> also, someone maybe 28. I'm gonna get you a gateway of light activation card. I'm feeling really good, you guys. I'm feeling really good from this energy. I feel this is a beautiful gift. This gift of victory. Victory on the temple path and this journey. This beautiful journey that's coming in. There's memories of Atlantis. Memories of Atlantis that have come through to help through this progress. This is spiritual acceleration. And there's some technology that is assisting with this. Technology that is assisting with this moving away from the devil. Now this could be um, through frequencies or tones. This could be just uh, accessing the internet and finding things on the internet. This could be something through TV, um, movies, new shows, as they're showing things in your reality, as they're speaking truth, and they've had to hide it. This has been coded before, but now you're understanding more. You're going to be understanding more. There might be other technologies that you're using to connect to the spirit realm. I am seeing that. I'm seeing te technologies that's helping you connect to the spirit world. They're showing me the bottom of the deck with the soul star activation, retrieving soul contracts and remembering who you are. That's what you're doing right now with this cathedral library. It's giving you strength. This soul star activation, putting you in your Merkaba. I did see that was the other thing I saw in the beginning. I forgot to tell you, I saw the light vehicle around you. Before I weave into the void in the darkness and there's all these frequencies coming in, I saw the light vehicle around you. So that was the, the Merkaba. Now, I didn't see the Merkaba. I saw the actual light vessel. The, um, it looked like a little like alien spaceship, like a light ship around you that's taking you there. It's taking you on this journey to victory. To victory. This is the temple path and you are doing incredibly well. This is a power recall. Hathar light codes, a light immersion, full system upgrade. Full system upgrade. Wow. I'm just so excited about this beautiful message. I'm running out of room to place my cards. Full system upgrade. Full system upgrade. What a beautiful, beautiful gift. Thank you, spirit. I am so excited. What a beautiful, beautiful message. Let me check the time. It's 1319, but I feel like we've had a whole reading here. Let me go ahead and get you some Spirit of the Animals Oracle cards, group number three. And also, I believe all of these messages ran through together again. So if you were attracted to any of the other piles, please go ahead and check them out. Because some, a, a lot of you will have messages in all three. Uh, butterfly rebirth. This is a rebirth process right now. This full system upgrade, power recalls, light immersion, all the sparkly light around you. You can reinvent yourself. Open to the rewards of change. You have brilliance to share with the world. Love every part of your journey. Love every part of your journey and live in gratitude as this is the ultimate manifestation. And I understand that sometimes it's hard to find things to be grateful for, but I always just go back and try to find the ones I can. And I know when it was really hard, I was just so grateful for the soft bed, comfortable sheets, snuggly clothes, maybe a a roof over my head, <laughs> maybe food to eat. I was just thankful for everything. And if you're just grateful, grateful for what you have and that's living in the abundance of the moment, it's just gonna bring more abundance to you. It's just gonna bring more abundance to you. And right now, um, you can reinvent yourself. 
and you have this beautiful brilliance to share with the world. And just love, love every part of the journey. It's the journey that is the fun part. It's not the destination. When you get there, there's not anything left to do. It's the journey. The journey's the part that you want to enjoy. So enjoy this in the moment. They've got, they want me to give you some of these fairy cards too. So get you a little fairy magic. Fairy spirit guides. You have some fairy spirit guides. Either they are already with you or they're coming in and they're bringing you joy. They're bringing you joy. They're bringing you joy because you can see with the glass apple, you can see, you can see through those matrix energies now. You can see you've got an understanding. You have an understanding and it's taking you to victory. So play, so play in the magic. Have more fun and play in the magic. And this is a beautiful gift a message from the fairies from spirit, uh, these beautiful gifts and blessings that are coming for you, group number three. I'm so happy to share this message with you. Please let me know how it resonates because I love hearing from you guys in the comments. I'm sending you guys so much light and love. Happy or happy uh, Christmas Eve, Merry Christmas, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, happy Kwanzaa. <laughs> talk to you guys soon.